Sorry to eavesdrop, but were you two just discussing visiting the patio? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, we were. It appears against all odds, Hans landed a date and wants us to find him again. Hans on a date? Nani? Mars' arm falls off purely in shock, and the skeleton awkwardly crouches down to reattach it. Sorry for that er uh, reaction. But what I initially meant to say was that I was heading to the patio myself for some reading. Basically, I wouldn't mind walking you over and helping you out with. Oh, I caught you. Yay. Ha ha, yes you did. Good job, Seba. I was just talking to Fluffy Panda here, though. Do you mind if we play some other time? Oh, what are you guys playing? Planning. Seba's sharp eyes flicked down towards the books Mara was carrying and then back. Seba whined softly in his ears as his ears drooped down. You guys were planning on going to the patio without me? What? <laughs> of course not. It was a, a surprise. The explanation seems to satisfy Seba. Mara discreetly lets out a sigh of relief. You're going to check with Joan if you should stick to your investigating or partner when searching around the mansion, but she seems to have lost interest and is quietly sleeping in the corner. Quick save. I guess we're going to go to the patio. I never understand why they give you one choice questions. You know where I'm going. Don't ask me. Even though you already know that Joan magically simu simulates daytime. Still bizarre scene. I did not know that, by the way. Such a quaint patio in what seems like the afternoon at 9 at night. Mara sits down and cracks a book open while Sibba crawls up on the grass. Soft breeze ruffles your hair and you breathe in deeply in deep to gather your thoughts before starting. Lily Hans and his mysterious companion are no longer here, but maybe they left something behind. Director's note for investigative scenes hover over different parts of the screen. Oh, gameplay. The cursor changes from the cute baby ghost to a regular pointing hair, so click to investigate. Uh, what the heck? Alright, I'm not getting anything here. <laughs> what? There's nothing. Uh. Oh, I did it. God, I'm good. You see something glint slightly in the corner of your eye. You shield your eyes from the counterfeit sun to try to get a better look at it. But it seems to be tangled up in some of the branches and just beyond your field of vision. You stretch out to grab it, but it is unfortunately out of reach. I wonder what that was. The thing stuck in the tree? Before you can respond, he leans over to you. Leans over you. You hear the rustling of some leaves and... He returns within seconds, a smile on his face. He holds out a feather towards you. Thanks, man. Did that help? No, it didn't. Funny, thank you. As you gingerly take it from his hand, you notice it shimmer slightly in the light. Siva looks over your shoulder and makes a weird face. I know this is going to sound a bit strange, but... I know all the boars, birds in the local area, and none of them have those kind of flowered feather designs. Sure enough, you closely... The closer you inspect it, the more it seems out of place. The way the light reflects around it creates a luminous effect. And if you stare at it too long, you start noticing colors that you can't don't can't quite name. No, see, but you're right. It's a mystery feather. It's ho -ho. Seem Something seems off. You tuck the feather away in your bag so you can inspect it further later. Goodness. I wonder what else I should look for. I don't know. This chair is nice. There's the remains of a bandage on top of the chair Marrow sitting in. <laughs> Marrow? The skeleton perks up excitedly. Yes? You want me to help with your investigation? No. It's just that. There's a used bandage on top of your chair. Marrow looks extremely uncomfortable. I see. Mero stiffly gets out of the chair and turns around to see what you were referring to. Oh, this isn't so bad. What do you mean? Haven't you heard? I have not heard. Ah, I'm surprised you didn't know. 
Those are the fake bandages that Hans uses to be more dramatic. <laughs> no harm, no foul. You smile to yourself, relieved that you have solid evidence that Hans was here earlier. Seems like you are heading in the right direction. Woo! I wonder what else I should look for. I don't know, man. <laughs> Come on. You know some dirt from the planter that spilled it onto the floor. This normally wouldn't be an object of interest. But whoever is accompanying Hans seems to have stepped in it by accident. Mauro glances over but doesn't seem very intrigued. What are you looking at? Some dirt. You have an idea. Hey Seba, do you think you'd trail a scent from this? Of course, of course. Is what I'd usually say, but I still have allergies from it. You suck. Ah, my bad. Sorry, I forgot. Don't worry about it. We can just follow it by the actual trail. We should probably do it. Do that after we finished up here. Is there anything else I gotta look at? You glance around the patio area once more. Come to think of it, you don't really see anything else to investigate. Thank God. Maybe you should take the opportunity to follow the dirt trail that you do notice. Your phone buzzes and shakes you from your thoughts. It's from the group text. Losers. One brain cell squad. Online seven. Losers offline. Hans. Joan, it's that time again, lads. Is that that time of the month? Oh, no. Joan is typing. What? It's the full moon tonight, right? <laughs> Joan, stop talking. She's about to let him have it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't believe I almost witnessed some murder. <laughs> Seba, dude, it's a miracle you're still alive. Sebus, I think. Mero. As I was saying, it's time for... Da -da 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 -da. That's right, fellas. It's time to spill the wind of fortune. Just stop typing already. That's the will of fortune. He's here. <laughs> Surprising, I thought it was a di on a different weekday. My beep, beep off. Oh, yeah, it is. Seba, the wheel, he's starting to roll away. As a da 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 da. da. Seba, don't listen to them, they are messing with you. Sorry, Mara. Oh, I guess it is Seba. I thought it was Sebus. I can't read. The wheel is waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> you hear what you can assume to be Selma's <laughs> on the ground as he takes off running. Jesus, that, baby. that was a lot funnier to me than it should have been. Oh, <laughs> the little fortune is waiting for me. For me. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Everybody's offline now. I honestly can't say I'm surprised at this point. Shake my head. How does Seba fall for this so frequently? <laughs> How long do you think it's going to take until he tires himself out? <laughs> Buddy, I'll grab him some water for him on the way over. Maybe you should just head back. <laughs> you walk into the increasingly familiar dining room and see Joan sitting at the table with a bowl of fresh popcorn. She waves you over while she tosses another bite to her mouth. God. You pull up a chair and sit down across from her. Mind if I have some? She gives a short laugh and holds the bowl out towards you. I was about to ask if you wanted to share, be my guest. How long have I been in this house? Thank you. You grab some and chew the colonel thoughtfully, glancing around the room. I think I'm going to get stuck here. Where's Seba? I could have sworn I saw him sprinting past on my way over. You're a muffled voice that you can't quite understand, only to look down and see Seba laying face down on the ground. What? Jones swallows. Ah, uh, he says that the floor is helping him cool down. She immediately throws back another handful of popcorn. Seba reluctantly flips over. Ah, <sighs> that felt good. Okay, cool. He pauses. I'm pretty sure I saw Buddy writing another message on the way over. You want to bet it's another love letter? As if on cue, you can hear a thump from someone hitting the door frame. Oh, that's Buddy. You turn towards the sound and see dull, the dull hand run into the door. Back away slightly and then try again. Try moving to the right. Buddy hits the door frame again and looks. Despite having no facial expression, betrayed. <laughs> Buddy, it's your other right. Yeah, your other right. 
Don't trust that, but he's a moron. <laughs> hey, the hand cautiously shifts to the left and finally stumbles into the dining room. Buddy, I'm saving. Oh, uh, please don't be a trap. I'm gonna do an actual save just in case. Buddy seems to be putting the finishing touches on the letter. Joan is still sitting. Joan is still eating, and Sambo is fiddling with his tail. You look at the flames in his ears curiously. I know that when we first met, you said you were a demon, but what kind are you? He said he was a hellhound, fox hellhound. I mean, you don't have horns or anything. Well, Joan seems to think that I'm half hellhound and half nine tails, but I disagree. You're a mutt. At the mention of her name, she looks up with contempt. On what grounds? Seba looks towards you! Why? He looks back towards Joan. What does on what grounds mean? Uh, basically, like what you're reasoning. Oh, in that case, I brought bought this DNA kit online. And Ancestry.com. Let me guess, it says you're a descendant of George Washington. Seba puffs out some smoke in disapproval. Uh, no. Clearly, I'm a descendant of G Genghis Khan and I'm a native to Australia, which makes you a wombat. Clearly, this DNA kit was not ch only cheap, but made for humans. Clearly, you're cheap and made for. Oh! <laughs> oh wow. Joan snaps her finger and Seppa disappears into a puff of smoke. Rip. Cough at the clouded air and wave it away, only to see an infant Seppa on the ground. I need. She, he starts crying and she gives you a kind smile. I'm terribly sorry you had to hear hear that. Children can be such a handful. Handful. <laughs> Let's see what Hans has to say. Sebel will turn back eventually, right? You quietly note that you should never aim to make Joan upset. You walk over to the kitchen to see what Buddy slash Hans came up with this time. Did we find Hans? Never mind, take your time. We're having a nice moment and I enjoy having their lap as a pillow. Oh, <laughs> Dark Lord. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Isn't he kind of rubbing it in our faces at this point? Bragging to the extreme? <laughs> Struggle to keep a straight face and nod. Joan suddenly looks determined. He's just going to keep messing around like this. We might as well have some fun too, right? Uh oh. I see no reason why not. She seems satisfied with this answer and you pull out your phone to contact your investigation partner. You're staying in the kitchen this time around, so you pretty much jump right into Oh. You already gathered a bunch of materials on the way over, so now's the fun part. Buddy seems to want to try other styles besides the balloon, so you collected a bunch of random objects you thought looked interesting from around the mansion. Items range from rubber ducks to gloves, hats, stuffed animals, and everything in between. Buddy critiques each item with a series of emojis and you feel like you're starting to be able to have real conversations despite not actually talking. Could this be the power of friendship? Oh god, she's friend zoning him. Buddy hurries off to show his new sense of style to Joan, but it says a quick thank you before leaving. Oh, it's your phone. Losers online too. Losers offline. Han, Seba, and three others. Ah. Mer, what are you up to? Oh, I was in the middle of making some, some salmon before I ran into Buddy. Salmon, you're okay with eating fish? I mean, it tastes good and is a good source of protein, so... Hmm. Oh, but I, what I meant to say was that Buddy was writing something again. It's a pretty short letter, though. Do you want me to just send a pic? So you don't have to come all the way over. Haha. -ha. That'd be great, thank you. One PNG attachment. Guys, I think they're trying to kill me. Please help. <laughs> Huh? Sucks to suck, boy. While Hans has been very indecisive about whether or not he wants to be found, I would feel more comfortable doing a quick search just in case he's serious. Agreed, that's a really good I'd That's a really good something. Hans seven two others idea since it's better safe than sorry. Why do I keep getting cut off lately? Who just logged on? I don't know.
Mars, God. <laughs>